I said creating extensions is is a less creating extensions in a less maneuverable shape. Okay. So here's the here's the prospect. It's shaped like this, and it's got its little engines here and here. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the prospect looks like. <laughs> there, there's the little side pods on the side. There we go. There's the one. There's the two. Okay, there's the front. <laughs> the prospect looks like a dick. The prostator. <laughs> the prostator. I like it. The prostator. All right, so you're flying your prostator, all right, and uh, you get it. <laughs> call it the, the ABS sweaty balls, <laughs> okay. And you are fighting. Uh, I guess you could say. Uh, so this represents your turn rate circle, I guess, right? So the distance between. Uh, if we go here. So this to here to here. Oh, that'd be green. So this distance like this is for the prospect probably probably around 200 and 300 meters, let's say. Uh, 250, 300. Okay. So here's what's going to happen, right? Let's say you're attacking or you're getting attacked by uh, an arrow, right? Here comes the arrow. It's angry. It's mean. It's saying a bunch of swear words at you. It's making fun of your mom. You know, just really unfortunate, right? That this this arrow pilot wants to, you know, tell your mom that she's a horrible person. Uh, so here's the arrow, right? And here's the here's the cockpit, right? So A one maturity, maturity level frost, frost the prostator. <laughs> it's the prostator. Okay, arrow, watch out for that dick, right? So here's what's gonna happen. Uh, while this is happening, you know. Uh, the arrow is going to attack and it's going to come in and it's going to want to be looking to get in behind your prostate. You know, it's going to want to look to get nice and right behind your balls, right? So <laughs> what you got to be careful for is you're going to be trying to track onto him by, by turn rate, right? So you're going to try and turn onto him, right? Now you're gonna make sure that you rotate so that your bottom thrusters are pushing you in that direction as you try to track around. But what happens when he gets ahead of your turn rate, right? So you're saying now I need to create a, uh, you know, to create a, a deflection, right? So two things you can do, right? While he comes in like this, right? Once he gets to the point where your turn rate is no longer sufficient to track the target that's that's incoming and trying to get in, uh, you know, either either get in around you or get in behind you, what's, what you're going to do is you're going to do what's called a blow through, okay? So while this arrow wants to come in, and as soon as he gets to this point here, okay, what's going to happen is you're going to decide, um, I don't like this, and you're going to go directly towards him, use your main thrusters, okay? to blast towards him to force him to basically reset the fight so that he starts to chase you again so then you'll end up over here okay there's your ship there's the prostator right here and he's now had to turn 180 degrees back towards you right so you're creating these kind of jousting moments right where as soon as, as soon as his turn rate gets too much you're like okay then you blow through and you fight again right now, there's another way to do it too. There's another way to do it too, which is the preferred way that I like to do it. Okay? That's the blow through, right? If he's prepared for this though, he's going to take a little bit of a wider angle and he's going to keep his nose facing towards you. And as you try to blow through, what's going to end up happening is you're going to end up over here and he's going to just basically be back within range, right? So, in order to avoid this, what we're going to do is we're going to do the VTOL move. Now, you can do it two ways. You can use VTOL because if you're in a VTOL ship like a prospect, you have the opportunity to use the extra acceleration to push away. However, if you're not in a VTOL capable ship, that's also fine. Your bottom thrusters are also where the majority of your acceleration comes from. 
So what you're going to do is as he gets to the point where he's above your turn rate, okay, you're good because again, you're orientated this way, right? Your wings are this way, your cockpit's here, and you know, you're trying to track onto that target this direction, right? But then you realize that he's gotten around your turn rate, so you're like, uh oh, he's too close, not in a good spot. So here's what you're going to do you're going to roll 180 degrees so that your nose. And everything else is now against where the arrow would be. So now the arrow is inside your, you know, inside your zone, right? He's right here. Yeah, I'm getting a little better at making arrows now. There's the arrow, right? But what what is happening is because you've now rolled, and again, it's all relative to the attacking ship. Okay, you want to put your ba your belly towards the targets, which means you pull your nose off the target for this maneuver because you've already lost target time. He's outside your turn rate. You've already lost target time, okay? So guess what? You've got to reset the fight. So you're already losing the fight. So now we rotate and we put him underneath us and we push hard away and we bring our nose down towards him, okay? This resets the fight back to what it was before and this makes it him trying to close back in on you and once he gets to that point again then you're going to flip upside down push away and then you're going to reset the fight and, and the fight just kind of ends up moving in these weird 90 degree kind of movements right so to help explain this we're going to do this oh there we go all right drake harold corkscrew so I'm actually down strafing to extend this turn because I like my position and then I'm slowly walking my way in now into the rate fight which is not really my best option here but see how Cecil's kind of moving too much in pitch there you should have had more of a 45 degree turn he gets a higher turn rate oh and I like how my shields aren't working so that I have the shield bug that's really cool very cool. So as he gets close to me, then I push away from him. Full throttle, right? See how he gets close to me out of my turn rate, push hard. We would be reset the fight. If you would join us. A little bit of down strafe here as I kind of let him kind of slowly walk in on me. Now, I don't know what he's doing here. Like he should be shooting. I don't know why he's not shooting. Unless he can't get an arc on me. There we go. That was just a reversal. Okay, yeah, this fight's over. Pull it down strafe here, hold an angle. Okay. Do full. Sam, okay, we'll do do. Do, 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 do. Said uh, miners just have to fly smarter. You can't just take the road. Every everyone drives and be surprised someone gets you. Yep. Yeah. That's unfortunately, I I have a bug where my shields don't work. So all the shots are going right through my shields. So I'm basically flying by the seat of my pants here. How does he want to do that? Okay. So we're. Oh no, they're working again. I'm so confused as to what's happening right now. Do I have the shield bug or do I not? All right, so he's cresting the turn. Now we're kind of coming back in it. See, now that my turn rate's expanded, I push through hard to create that extension. Okay. Now I'm just trying to slowly bring it on. Push hard, get some energy, because I know he wants to kind of close it up. Uh, okay. So hard up strafe here. Strafing down into the right. I might be able to make a small trade with him here. Now my tur my turn rate's expanded. Push through. Okay. That's the blow through, right? Now let's say he's turning on me here, and I'm I'm just not I'm just not turning, turning, turning. Rotate 180. Push down. Bring your nose around. Now we're back to the standard 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 pattern, right? Here we go. 
into the turn. See, he's not guns on me yet, so we can stay in the raid fight. Right? There we go. Now I can extend again. So he wants to go this way. Again, right? Fighting inside the bubble. Okay, did everyone see the two examples I'm, I'm trying to talk about, right? See how as soon as uh, my Traverse was expanded, I couldn't track him anymore. I rolled 180 and pushed away, and then I reset the fight. That's one way to do an extension. And the other way is when he's coming in on you, you can just blast through. That sounded so wrong. 